so it's already two and a half hour after the market started and i'm starting very late the reason is simple i've just shown my loss for study which was around 50 percent of my capital 80 dollar and uh, i explained what what the reason and i don't want to be in the debt mode before starting the trade new again so let's start my analysis for today's and how i'm going to enter so coming to euro aud in weekly time frame i can see that uptrend is going on maybe it can break below this in daily time frame it's in a range you can see the range here it's in a big range area and uh, hourly for nothing hourly for still in a range this is big range area let me remove this triangle now i don't need this triangle i don't need this triangle hammer anything right now i can see that it's a ranging market not choppy market ranging market we know the difference between ranging and chopping market after this support yep after this support this is the support 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 it broke the support here and it is ranging within the market let me be very precise about the market area yep this one will be very precise to know and if i come to one hour it in the ranging area once it broke the ranging area here and it went up but again and let me remove this triangle so this triangle had made form yesterday so i will take the downtrend but it was a failure so now what I am trying right now is in one hour time frame, I will insert one more shape triangle. I am looking for a uh, double bottom at this level. Yeah, this level. So I will wait for my can, uh, this candle to come forming in bit low here. Within the week of this candle. <coughs> and then I will take with a good obviously it's very important for entry is a good candlestick formation now enter the trade in euro usd going from weekly it's not ranging it formed a hammer candle and bullish engulfing it last week this week it started with the this week it started with the uh, fall then again it took the support uh this we can see this morning tweezer bottom tweezer here is but this bottom tweezer meaning that market is expected to go up and this bottom tweezer let me see in weekly it is an up it is a support area and good formation of candle the bullish engulfing date bottom tweezer going up in hour four it is showing <coughs> So in our, <coughs> okay, so here I can see that market went up. So it's all signal showing that market will go up. And uh, let me remove all this line. These are not any more important to me right now. I have removed this all line. And it is at the 21 and 50 EMA. So where's my trading rule? Yep. Oh, oh. most important is are you following the trend first question so yep <coughs> it is an uptrend some resistance taking support in day trade in hourly four it is showing an uptrend you can see here we are seeing an uptrend in hourly one yep it is an uptrend i can see it uptrend second is it at support resistance level? I can see, yep, it is the area of support. With big line, you can't see with big eyes, but if I draw this line, it is at the area of support somewhere. And it is also at the moving average. My third question, is it at the 21 or 50 moving average taking the support? Yep, it is taking both support at, uh, yeah sometimes i don't know why my keyboard is not working it is taking at the support 2150 both and take make this hammer this green signal this signal so i will take a buy signal 
by entry. I can be wrong. This is Euro CAD. I will take the stop loss below this 50 moving average as well as uh, uh, and this will be, it is around 144 pips in dollar ten dollar. My profit will be twenty dollar approx. Yep, this the next support level we can see here is next support level and it's forming around 20 level. So I will take the trade of 20. So it is a ratio of one is to two at good support. At the support of 21 uh, 50 moving average 21 moving average both ends of trend so i'm taking a trade now coming to euro gbp going to weekly it was showing uh down trend somewhere oh it's so hard to predict so now here what happened in our four hour when i made a triangle it took the triangle came down I am not interested here. This was support area and we see it broke and it's going down. But no, one of my rule is like it is now breaking the zone. It is going down. My rule is like it should be support resistance plus 50 moving average. So or 21 moving average. So I'm not taking any trade here. I will not look into it. I will not waste my time. Talking about Euro and ZD. Weekly it's coming down daily a range is being here forming here this range we can set our four moving our four chart properly this range this range this range the market was going down down trend down trend down trend down trend but it broke here up trend so it tried to move up trend now it is again forming down trend so yesterday i would have taken the trade here so which i did for gbp and jd and uh, I made a mistake there. So now it's coming back to our one. In our one again, it is coming here. Oh, it is forming a double top. So let me sort of shape rectangle. So it will be forming like this one. This is the area, and it is coming should come in within this one. So it tried to go, but even again coming down. Same thing for GBP. I have taken trade is going an eight dollar loss. Okay. My analysis is good there. So it, you can see the diversion here. I will wait for this one hour. In 15 minutes, the market will close this candle, this hourly candle, and I can, if it is bullish, I will enter trade here in Euro GP also. Euro and JT, my mistake. So diversion, it is uh, within this candle, the last white candle, or I can say, if I take this, let me change the color of this one. So this rectangle, edit, I should take the color of, Okay, light pink. Yep. So okay. So it's not actually within the last candle. The last bearish candle stopped below the it is not within the last bearish candle. This last bearish candle stopped below this one here. So it is not entered the last bearish candle. Okay, so I will wait for it to enter the last bearish candle. And then again, if I see the uh, up bullish, I will enter. Here I can see weekly. It's a downtrend taking support. I can see the support area. This support area. If I enlarge this one, I can see this still here. Oof, it's so tiring yeah, to explain to uh, trade. Mental work is too much here. Yeah, you can see so much back support is big one. With hammer of weekly, this week it started going bullish, means uptrend. In daily, I can see up, yep, it's going good. So, if this week I have started with buy trade, I would already have made profit, but I don't know why some technical mindset a mistake. Yeah, I think I entered a sell trade here yesterday, but I can see the trend is moving up. It was a diversion from here, the diversion happened. Oh, this line is not making good sense. I would draw this line. I don't know why it happened like that. Okay, so in diversity was going uptrend. In uptrend, I took trade of sale, I think, yesterday. So today is in a range shape rectangle. Insert shape rectangle. It is a range here. I will not do anything. I will from range it is going down. It is not I it is not anything confirming my entry point anywhere so i will not take any trade today in this maybe tomorrow it will i think it will come down a little here somewhere at 50 ema or 21 ema then i will look for long trade 
as I can see here, it's going up, up. <laughs> so I missed a big movement here with my selling mistake. This sell I took and it stopped, it hit my stop loss. I should take and buy here. Or I did I took buy here, somewhere like this only. Okay, no trade in this one, Euro GBP. With week, I can see nothing. Daily, hour four, it is in a range. It is in a range. So a big range is going on, blah, 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 blah. I can't see anything. In a range, the best way to trade is to take at the top of the range, sell or take at the bottom of the range, buy. Moving average, no. But I can see that market is going, trying to go up here. So if we take the support of 50 and it is within this range, let me draw one more shape, rectangle. So if it take the support of 50 only, not 25. If it take the support of 50 and it is around this point, somewhere around here. The market started yesterday at this point, control Y. No, day before at this point. It comes at this point. It is support area for this candle. From here also market moved down. So let me increase a little. Yep. So if it comes within this and it goes up, then I may think of entering buying, but that's not surety. Coming to Euro CHF, the my, my chart is looking too much weird. Let me delete all in this. Let me delete all this line. Euro CHF, delete, delete, delete. I will start press for weekly. If I go weekly, I can see a diversion here. Line, I can see a diversion here. Line. And most of all, let me do one more thing insert chart, uh, no lines, trading angle line. So, how it works. I don't know how it works. It's the same thing or what? I don't know. So this line doesn't make sense right now. So coming out day. So in week I can see that market. Uh, let me draw. I say it's important to have a something on chart to analyze. So this is the area where the market has come down to the big is too big here so market has been downtrend but took again downtrend in day one hourly four hourly one i'm not sure what to show here here yesterday I can have taken, I was not able to see this one, sorry, control Y. In yesterday this double top bottom is here for me. So this bottom we could have traded. With diversion here, because a diversion here and double bottom with the uh, good uh, morning star signal. I could have taken trade and taken a profit at this level here. So I think this is up trend. Yep. I can feel it like it's an uptrend because with the diversion here, it is going up. And if I see the weekly, it has come down. Nothing, nothing for me here. Now going to Euro. I will come to GBP at last. We'll go today by like this. Oh, weekly, it can see last week it was a good hammer. Sorry. Very scandal my mistake. I'm making some mistakes. Sorry, silly me. This week it was expected to go down and it went down, but obviously I didn't have I didn't make any money here. In hourly yesterday, this is USD CHF. I think I took the trade USD CHF. Uh, yep, yep, yep. It was a sale, but my sale was at this level. My sale should have been at this level, this 21 or 50 moving average which explains my mistake so it was monday tuesday two days not good now it is forming in a range 
so two days it shows a down movement so third day i'm not expecting to see down movement i'm expecting to see a little repulse and then again going down so it means like it will come back to this point somewhere here and it will again go down because this range is being formed here in hour four i can see here yeah, day before yesterday was very good oh so i think today the market is not going to move too much i can see from all the chart okay if i go to weekly it's forming a triangle 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 this try to break triangle once but none didn't happen i think i had expected this one okay this one to go up from here it now it is going a downtrend it is in a range right now so in a weekly time frame it is at top of the triangle and i form the chart at weekly oh ho oh, oh, ho oh. in daily two days back if i have entered at this level i would have taken a profit yesterday it shows one more hammer downside hammer so the market will continue down hourly four hourly one hourly one it is taking the support at 21 ema so that take the trade at this level if i can say this is a big area of range this is a range forming and uh, i'm not going to take the trade in this range box it can hit me it will be a choppy this is choppy actually and i'm not going to take that trade here let me move a little slide above yeah this is perfect so yesterday if i taken trade it would have continued i would have taken trade yesterday it would continue then it was good i can have put it the stop loss here and uh, but today i'm not going to take a trade we discussed usd chf yep usd jpy too much coloring too much line it is a topple top it is hammer it is forming the it is showing that market will reverse here the it was a very high high from here it shows the diversion but going up trend now it is coming down daily within a range weekly our four i can see a little downtrend movement so this uh, on friday it has shown us something else now it is coming back to range i am not going to trade i think i am having a still loss 14 dollar loss okay today straight i have taken this gp and jd we'll go to that later today i can't see anything in the market to trade weekly the continuous of yesterday only i think daily uptrend 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 it's uptrend very good uptrend in hourly one and that is area i didn't took this trade yesterday so yesterday in the middle of the it showed some bottom tweezer this will yep yep if i have taken trade at this level also i could have taken the good this one was signal that it will go up and then it can last for you so at 21 moving average i can see that it is uptrend you can see another guys uptrend it is uptrend so this ignore this one just ignore this one and see if we ignore this friday movement which was the very bad we can see the market is going up if i hide this area we can see the market is going up so i could have taken this bottom tweezer or this bullish candle which will single thing and i can take a profit now it is going to the profit i am not seeing anything i am not doing anything and at the chf same thing here i can took have taken this uh, bottom tweezer at support area it is again going into range i am not doing anything it may come at and come fall down it is not at my one of the rules this is above my range uh, weekly daily hourly sorry nothing here oh, yesterday yep very good signal i would not taken this one big one but i would have taken this small one this big one because too much the loss will be too much high risk 
the loss will be of too much high pips which is around 256 only okay whatever but i have taken this one this candle this is around 15 and 15 30 i have taken profit of this level please now it is coming to the range and in weekly time frame nothing to understand uh, nothing to understand in hourly i think it is a it is within a range here so but it is a uptrend again it is an uptrend so i think it will go up to this level and fall down because it is range right now or it will break and move down and it will take retracement i will not take the downtrend here i will wait for it to come at this level somewhere here and again you will look for a buy i'm not going to look for sale in our time frame it is range okay let me smaller this range right now because Let's be a little more precise. Okay, nothing to see here. Today I am not getting the trade. I entered only Euro CAD and which was okay. So today, no, I think no trade is going to form. Today it's only like the trade which was taken yesterday it is in continuation. If anybody has entered that trade. In four minutes, I will go to GBP, Euro, GBP, and Euro and ZD. And see if I can take the trade there. No, yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. It is a downtrend in daily time frame. It is coming to a support level. It will form a candle. If it will form a candle there, I can also see the candle at this level also. In our form, in our I can see control. Let me start put that one straight line. This is straight line. This is the area where the most market is been coming up, going down, coming up, going down, coming up, going down. This time also to quite have to come up i may go down or it will break nothing to see here and jd yep here i can see should i take this trade okay let's view what is going on weekly ranging market daily nothing hourly four it is a downtrend but the diversion have started to happen from here okay in our i can see that I am going to take only few trade and it should be good if I'm going to take it. So it didn't come into this last candle. So this diversion doesn't make any sense for one hour time frame. So I am not going to look anything here. I am going moving forward. This is uptrend weekly, choppy, hourly four. It's an uptrend hourly one. It is going moving above. I think in the evening session when London market open, I think at that time around 6 p.m. I would be able to see something entry scope because today's morning there's no entry scope euro cad uh -huh. <clears throat> it is showing a promising uptrend hourly one <clears throat> no entry level found hourly four no entry level found this is a very complex area i want to get out of this range and trading market obviously it will comes only 30 percent of the time as i uh, we dis as I read in yesterday, did I record yesterday? I think I recorded that book yesterday. Here I can see in our one is now I'm having a one big trouble right now because this was the range from where market was always try to push up. Okay, leave this one. This also one support resistance range. This is a resistance range. No, it is a little up. I'm not seeing anything in this one. No, this is weekly going up. Oh, ho, in weekly, it's a downtrend hourly for hourly one. So, from here, it is should go down in weekly time frame. I can see a downtrend. 
and daily it was going to go down but some up push has shown in hourly for it's in a big range area so the so it is a range area basically so the, the best way to trade the range is when the market comes to let me draw one more set this range is around from here to here this is the range area and this one is the range area so the best way to trade is if i see any candle bullish, uh, bearish candle forming here i can took this sell uh, and took the take the profit around this level so i can take the range sell in this level every cd get nothing to see now coming to let me write down so only thing i can see here is audc ad audc hf let me write it down today aud chf if i want to enter i can enter aud chf in the if in one or two hours and nothing else i can see here going forward the other scope let's see gold how is gold doing okay yesterday also it was in the range now it is also in the range in our one weekly time frame i can see the gold is taking a support and going up yep daily hour, hourly it is an uptrend from here it started going up up up, up. and this is the distance level now i can see if it is i'm not going to do here anything i have to see if it breaks above this or below this this 50. yeah let's go to cdjpy weekly time frame berries formation and diversion double top you can see but that's too far in daily it took a support in three days ago and it went up hourly four is an uptrend hourly one it is an uptrend but it is not going anywhere that this is the downtrend i can prove to, to we can do something like this but here it is uptrend but in our if it took about hour for we could have entered this level then we should have taken here but here 21 moving average taking our one is little difficult to match understand if i can enter or not okay my gp and jet is going to lose i will go to that last it's in the range choppy not a range just choppy weekly daily hour four hour one it's in a choppy for hour one is a choppy in 15 minutes i'm don't in 15 minutes so i will not see that one right now weekly i'm a so it is so much choppy right now nothing now going back to gp we'll first start with GP AUD. I want to remove all this diagram control here and too much diagram. Okay, let me delete everything. We'll start first. List all. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, now deleted. Now going from weekly. It shows a promising up. It's an uptrend and it's taking support of 21 EMA and it will go up at weekly. Okay, good. But daily is a little in a range. If I see, it's going to go up, but it is in a zone where it will take some time to go up. Okay, hour four in a zone, hour one in a zone. So I will look for uptrend, but uh, the market is going down. And uh, let me see one more thing. Why is this much far here? is in a range uptrend yeah but nothing to see anything here it's an uptrend weekly uptrend daily oh this 
I can take a trade on daily basis here. It's a bottom tweezer at 50 EMA. Wow. Hour 4, I don't care. Hour 1, I don't care. Here, I will take a trade on the basis of daily time frame. <coughs> yep, my stop loss will be a little bigger, which is $80. Oh my god, and 1091 pips. 1100 approx. The profit will be 2000 approx. So, next support is at this level. This is the good support area. So 2000, 162. I'm taking profit. Approx 162. Coming daily time frame is taking support at this level and move my stop here a little more. In hourly chart, okay, it's good. Yeah, but it will wipe up my all the capital you <laughs> I lose, but it's worth taking. Yeah, I could <coughs> I could have reduced my lot from 10 to 1 or 2 5 but that's not the point here the point is following the process not the profit jpjpy weekly daily not focused anything nothing here to see yesterday would have been a trade put here yesterday I take a Shouldn't they took the sell trade here? I don't recall like that. You think <coughs> GPJPY? Let me see. GPJPY. No, it's an up trend. Why is it not? It's an upside trend. I will not take a low trade, uh, sell figure. So I'm not going to see it. Yesterday is the past, today is the present. Coming to GP and JD. Yep, yep, yep. Hourly chart. What I made the mistake in weekly time frame, I can see the downtrend in daily time frame. I can see the downtrend hourly for it's still a downtrend, but with it all bottom which I taken yesterday, which I exited with the loss of something around uh, which is this one? I said I will. Yeah, study if I study what I did mistake, I was taking unexpected this much profit, big profit again. This red line in thing at this point. If I've taken the realistic profit once too, I would have taken a good profit amount. But obviously the hourly <laughs> one. I've taken the trade yesterday at this level. This is why you can see this candle. Now if I extend this one right now here. So it has never entered this candle. Okay, I've taken put the low stop loss below this one. We will see if I hit the stop loss. The stop loss will be around thirty eight dollar. So today's trade will decide if I will continue tomorrow or if I have to again add up these most paining things. The dummy currency again. This is a dummy account. I am doing all my hit and trail. Hey, 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 hey. This weekly trade. Wow, it sold a good. Obtain at the support with candle. If today is uh, this week, if this week it formed this uh, bullish candle, then next week it will go to this here, this time. In daily time frame, I can see wow, taking a very wow support. Okay, now coming to date hourly four, hourly one. It has broke this zone yesterday. I think I I want to do one more thing here. Insert save rectangle. I don't want to see this one. Insert save rectangle. I want to black out this area. This four area I want to black out. Control V. This one is affecting my affecting my what? Judgment. I want to black it out. This is a Black Friday for me. 
to this area oh it's too dark sorry let's put some small dark here this has affected my judgment yesterday a lot a oh, very very okay leave it now so i can see the market is moving up up so <coughs> i'm not going to trade so it is up 10 i will wait for it to come back to 21 yeah it's moved too much further if 21 it comes back 21 i can take the buy trade and nothing else gbchf it was a uh, double bottom here i could have taken buy trade yesterday and it have taken profit of this level today there is nothing to see here weekly i can see nothing daily in a zone hourly nothing in hourly i can see it in a zone but it came below the zone so one profit could have been here 21 much too much pollution in this one okay gb and ZD, it is still going down i will hit the loss and i will go out coming to euro and ZD. euro and ZD, it's moving the same way and i expect no this is gb and ZD, sorry coming to euro and ZD, no? yep. euro and ZD. is it uptrend going up taking range it's going up bullish candle daily it's bullish engulfing daily candle i can with daily candle i need, i can take this bullish engulfing it was going up market weekly i think i can enter the trade here on a basis of daily also i can see this bottom tweezer Only time frame it is at the zone, it is trying to move up. Oh, I don't have any money right now. Oh, okay, I just want to make some notes. That I want to take the buy trade here. Euro NJD is coming down it's coming in the zone once it comes in the zone and i can take the buy so this is for today either my capital will be wiped out or i will survive for one more in the day let's see tomorrow